on the Dolphins, things have changed dramatically. There's a great vibe there. There's a sense that they could be a playoff contender. They had a great winning streak last year, late in the season. There's been some talk about their franchise-tagged tight end being available in trade. And I think the report was that they're bringing up his name in conversations with other teams. Now, some people get upset about that because you franchise tag the guy. What are you doing trading him? Well, you, you, you can trade him. Now, the new team can't sign into a long-term contract. The July 15 deadline has come and gone, but in theory, he could be traded. And the fact that he would only be under contract this year would impact the trade value. Here's Mike McDaniel, head coach of the Miami Dolphins, talking to reporters yesterday about this rumor that the Dolphins may be willing to move on from Mike Gesicki. Uh, these reports are tricky to me because I'm like, um, you know, the, again, I've, I've alluded to this before at the beginning of the offseason. Like, during the uh, training camp, during the off, off season in general, like GMs have work to do and they're not just watching us coach. So when people report that somebody is, you know, when they use the, that loose verbiage of, all right, well, yeah, they've been, his name's been brought up or whatever, you know, I, I mean, the report is kind of misleading because like there probably should be a lot of names on that report. Um, I, all I'm focused on and that's, you know, regardless of what people try to drum up, like I'm focused on coaching Mike. Mike's focused on getting better. And, and uh, look, I, McDaniel's in a tough spot. Um, the general manager of a team is responsible for moving the pieces on the chessboard. And sometimes it's in the best interest of the team to move a piece off the chessboard. Maybe Gasicki is a luxury they don't need this year, especially if they can flip him for draft pick next year to fill the void created by the one they lost for tampering with Tom Brady. And if they let him walk away as a free agent after the season, they get compensatory draft pick consideration the following year, but you get a more immediate return if you can flip Gesicki now. And if you don't think you're going to sign into a long-term deal, it is something worth thinking about. And Mike McDaniel's in a tough spot because unless and until Gesicki is traded, McDaniel is responsible for getting the most out of him. Good luck getting the most out of him if he's constantly thinking he's about to be traded. So I think McDaniel handled it well, and I think he probably handles it well behind the scenes with Gesicki. But, you know, the reality is if you're going to talk about a player on your team with executives from other teams, you better be sure you trust them not to blab because some do and some don't. And it sounds like somebody was blabbing about conversations with Dolphins GM Chris Greer, Shireen. Yeah, it sure does, Mike. And and they're trying to turn him into something that he's really maybe not capable of doing, but definitely something different than what he's ever done. They're trying to make him more of a traditional tight end. That's not what he did. Last year, he led all tight ends with 412 snaps in the slot. He's a receiving tight end, 730 yards, 73 receptions, two touchdowns last season. He's not that great of a blocker, and they're trying to get him to block. So he doesn't exactly fit their offense and what they're asking him to do, if that's what they're going to continue to ask him to do. So, you know, when he played in that preseason game extended time last week, that led to the questions. That and the fact that they're trying to ask him to do something that he's never done in the NFL before in his career. So that's led to all these questions about what his future is, along with the fact that they did franchise tag him if they were going to ask him to play the traditional tight end position you would think that they wouldn't have used the franchise tag on him but now they did and maybe they figured out that he doesn't exactly fit that and it's time to get what you can for him and move on when you have a new coaching staff when you have a new offense you have to ask yourself does the player that we have fit the offense are we willing to tailor the offense to fit the player and there's going to be a lot of running plays there's going to be a lot of blocking expected you need that guy like a george kittle who can block effectively and who will block effectively and who will go catch passes and you need that you need that to keep the defense guessing when you have a tight end that can do both on the field you can sell the idea that any given play is going to be a run or a pass because if it's a run get sick he's going to come knock you on your butt like Kittle does and if that's just not what he he's wired to do and I remember when Jimmy Graham was traded to the Seahawks Shireen and there were reports from people in the building that they're dismayed that Jimmy Graham isn't more of a blocker. Well, you knew that when you traded for him. You knew that going in, that there's two types of tight ends. Well, three, blocking only, catching only, and both. And they need both in Miami. They wanted both out of Jimmy Graham. 
unreasonably because that's not what he does. And so that, that may be the easy answer to the question. So you save $10.9 million in cash and cap space. Yeah. You get trade value for next year, help offset the first round pick that you lost for rampantly and stupidly tampering with Tom Brady, and then uh, and then you move forward. So it's a possibility. We'll see if any anyone wants him. We'll see if they work something out. It's getting kind of late in the day. It's it's not real easy to put a pass catcher into an offense in late August, early September, and expect him to make an impact. And when you're getting him on a one year deal. <laughs> if you're not going to get an impact now, you may never get an impact. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.